My name is Bianca Rani, and this week I'll be presenting on the evolution of CRM systems. As we know from this week's lectures, CRM systems are a subset to enterprise systems, as are ERP, CSM, EMR, and so on. Enterprise systems history begins in the 1960s with inventory control packages or software designed to manage inventory. CRM specifically makes headway starting in the 1980s, and some may say the original CRM system was the Rolodex. However, the first software-based CRM system first debuted in 1986 by the company ACT. In the late 80s and the early 1990s, the industry faced a large shift when personal computers were introduced. This inspired an explosive growth for software development, which fueled the CRM industry. This market boom inspired innovation, and with it, Salesforce automation was born. SFA was the first software design that resembles modern-day CRM. Tom Siebel, one of Oracle's top salesmen, approached Oracle CEO several times to market their internal sales application as an individual product. Oracle declined the suggestion, and by 1993, Siebel left Oracle to start Siebel Systems. Siebel Systems would go on to be the industry leader in SFA products and was later acquired by Oracle in the mid-2000s. CRM software was referred by many names and acronyms such as ECM, Enterprise Customer Management, and CIS, Customer Information Systems, but by 1995, the industry settled on CRM or Customer Relationship Management. 1995 through 1998, the market finds many new entrants such as Oracle and SAP who are known for capitalizing on innovation and new technologies. This brought a fierce competition forcing serious vendors to up the ante on the design and capabilities of CRM systems. By 1999, the market is consolidated via several powerful acquisitions. By the end of the 1990s, Salesforce enters the market, going mostly unnoticed. By 2000s, the dot-com burst, quickly followed by the tragic events of 9-11, caused a grave impact to the CRM market. Many companies held back on making any major investments, and it would be several years before the momentum would be regained. During this time, publications such as CRM at the Speed of Light by Paul Greenberg call the industry to begin thinking of CRM in relation to enterprise systems, or in other words, how to further ES with CRM to totally encompass the enterprise as a whole. In 2007, Salesforce, now a CRM giant, rivaling competition like Seabell Systems, introduces cloud-based CRM solutions. While cloud solutions showed great progressive efforts from Salesforce, there were many concerns over cloud computing limiting customization ability. The argument arose around the understanding that public cloud space reduces the ability for companies to make modifications to meet their specific company or industry needs. Of course, cloud systems would go on to be very important to our technology industry and the CRM market. In the late 2000s, Comcast Cares enters the market, bringing with it a great deal of interest in social CRM. By the late 2000s to present day, CRM vendors continue to innovate CRM systems as we continue to expand the capabilities and reach of enterprise systems. The question for you is, what are some risks and advantages to cloud-based CRM solutions? Thank you for your time this week, guys, and I look forward to our discussion board postings. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you on the chat boards.